Hey everybody, Pico Gamer here, and I'm doing a new little way of playing. And I'm not; these aren't let's plays, but instead of always going upstairs and just you know sitting down and doing things like that, I'm gonna you know I got a new OBS scene set up here. I'm gonna play a game. You're not gonna hear the game, but you're gonna hear me talk and go through some stuff. I may be tweaking this where you may hear the game some, you know, here and there. I'm going to run through my World of Warcraft character, which I'm using him to do mining. And I ship it off to my other character and making some money on you know, all characters. So I'm going to try this and you're going to see overlays and everything. You know, it's, it's just kind of different. Uh, it gets me in here to where it's quick to sit down in front of the computer and talk about something. So I want to talk about the NES Mini and I saw this on Nintendo Enthusiast and they posted that people at GameStop had turned around and have taken this thing apart it has a quad core Cortex A7 processor 256 megs of RAM a good Mali uh, MP2 4 something. It's, I'll put all the links down below to all the specs and it's a good pro it's more powerful than the Wii and it's more powerful than the new 3DS XL or even the new 3DS. So what does that mean? Well, to be honest here, it means uh, this thing is not just, you know, I read that article and the guy ended the article and I'm not being, I'm trying to be an ass and I, la I laughed at him and said, you probably need all this power to play an NES game at 1080p. And I'm like, no, you don't. Wish people would quit thinking that. You don't need that. But you don't need all this stuff, this power, to play an NES game, people. Even a Super Nintendo game. And I know I still have people comment on my 3DS uh, Super Nintendo one. People saying, why are you whining about it? You don't understand. I'm like, no, people still don't understand. You don't need that lot of power. The Raspberry Pi 2 and Raspberry Pi have been emulating games and they're weaker for a long time. And... I'm going to compare this um, this internals of this system, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Is that it's stronger? It looks like a little bit stronger than a Raspberry Pi 2, and a Raspberry Pi 2 can emulate Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64 with a little bit of hiccups, and PlayStation 1 games. And they put this in here because they need power for, for 1080p NES. I really don't think people understand processors. I'm not, I can sound like an asshole. I know, I apologize people, but I do this for a living. I took courses in this. I've had a couple of degrees. It's just something I know. I know it don't take a lot of horsepower. I've told people not in 3DS video. It don't take a lot of horsepower to run these fucking games, even emulating. Um, you can go look up in the Raspberry Pi 2 as a Broadcom 4 uh, graphics chip is not as good as this this one. Uh, it's got about quad core A7, and like I said, people are running Super Nintendo games just fine on Pi's. Even Nintendo 64 makes some hiccups in there. It's probably gotten better. Usually it's the software, it's not the hardware. It can't run this stuff, it's the software. And Nintendo owns this software, people. They own the games, they own the software. They own everything. So they may not even be fully uh, emulating, so to speak. They may be turning around and just, you know, <laughs> they could just be recoding this. They're recoding this without much layer emulation. Oh my gosh. This thing could, these things could play. It's more powerful than a Wii. And if it was recoded for this chip, you could have GameCube games on it. I doubt that's what they're doing. I think they're doing some type of small emulation. But here's my main point, and I, I think I disagree with this article. I'm not trying to make fun of the person in the article. This thing is future proof. This you're gonna see this board. If you look, keep looking at this board. If I have it put it up there in post editing, you know, look at the back of it. The USB power is there, and the HDMI. There. The rest of the stuff is with cables. You know, little cables that. Um, you simply just run anything. Guess what? You could take build you a Super Nintendo, Super Famicom mini shell, butt this thing up against it in the back, and run it to some new power switches. And voila, load new hardware. It's got 512 megs of uh, internal storage, even with Super Nintendo games. That's a decent amount. I mean, most games were 
a handful of megs, megabytes. And, you know, some of them like 32 to 64. I think they went up close to maybe. I know they were like at least 32 and 48. They went up a little higher. I had to look them up. And it says on the, it's just like Neo Geo, those are mega bits to buy that by eight. And they're going to drop these things out there with 30 games all the time. Easily. Easily could do that. And I think they're building, they've got this little platform and they're going to put this in multiple types of boxes. Why? It's, it's cheap. It's old tech, but it's a plenty of power to emulate what they need. Or even if it's not true emulation, it could just be a simple recoding. Again, Nintendo owns the games. They own these games. That's why I was telling about the 3DS emulation. I don't even think it's truly emulation. I bet. I mean, the virtual console is, and it's kind of crap. And you know, it's just, it's just one of those where you just kind of sit there, and I want to just shake my head. I'm thinking, people, I don't think I've emulated Super Nintendo, Mame, and all types of shit for a long time. You don't need that much power. You have to watch it you on know, certain Super FX chips games like it, or Star Fox. It's one of those kind of ones that's like, oh crap, you know, Star Fox. But it's usually up to the software. Nintendo owns the games, they own the software. This thing is going to be definitely future proof. And I think it, they may even can make put us in 64 version out. They may, the, CP, the CPUs are playing. They may say they're going to put in, a, uh, I think the, these Mali, those chips that they got, there's dual core, quad core versions. They could put a quad core chip, just slightly change their um, their plan and or their implementation and have a cheap board that they can reproduce and put out. You can have a Super Nintendo, a Nintendo, a Nintendo 64, and of course the Nintendo 64 games got pretty big and actually megabytes. I think the large one in Resident Evil 2 was really 64 megs. So yeah, you'd have they'd have to drop a little bit more storage in there, but it's storage like that, a, a couple of gigs is dirt cheap, people. So I just you know I, I think it's kind of neat seeing what they're doing, and I really and truthfully think what they're really trying to do here is they've got a little platform and what they're trying to do is they're future proofing themselves they don't need that much horsepower to put an NES game out in 1080p again I don't mean to be bashing this guy he's article I'm gonna link it below you don't need that much horsepower it just is what they're doing is simply putting a little piece of hardware in there turning around and getting ready to drop out a lot more of these things and I think we're about ready to see a lot more of these little minis so yeah this is one of my first um, little videos like this I hope everybody enjoyed it it's different it lets me sit here and play a game and kind of get my thoughts out and it looks a little different and when I really want to concentrate and do some stuff that you know I'll go upstairs definitely but yeah tell me what you think in the comments below you know and follow me here on Facebook YouTube Twitch Twitter all those good stuff you know I put this stuff down on the bottom of the screen there is where you can follow me and I do appreciate everybody watching and listen to me you know, ramble and go on if you don't disagree if you don't agree just talk to me you know post it in the comments below let's just be civilized but I think this thing is just setting up the ability to put a lot more of these devices out all right everybody PKO Gamer out